So as I uh, mentioned earlier, there are different ways of uh, stretching uh, your final design and putting it on display. Uh, this is the most simple uh, method I found because it's it's the hoop is already designed to stretch your, de your uh, design in the correct way. You don't have to worry about it being aligned um, and you can use the hoop that you've, you've already bought to create it and you make a really nice um, ready to hang piece of work. Uh, there are two other options that I have used in the past. The first being uh, my favourite, which is the canvas. So as you can see, this is actually a wooden canvas underneath here, which has got the original canvas still on. Now, these can be extremely cheap art canvases from things, places like The Works or uh, even Lidl. I've bought some in the, in the past. They don't have to be good quality canvases because you're not actually painting on them. You're just going to stretch your fabric over the top. You just need this wooden frame and a bit of support from the canvas itself. So I've used a uh, staple gun to stretch the fabric over the top. So this is my staple gun. As you can see, it's a bit of a hefty one because I uh, usually doing it onto quite sometimes some quite big pieces. So I need a bit of help on getting those in. Uh, you can buy uh, smaller versions from places like B&Q or um, b and uh, You can actually buy this particular one from B&Q itself, but obviously it's a little bit more expensive than the smaller ones. If you're a bit nervous about doing this way, but would like the, like the effect it creates, um, if you go to framers uh, that actually make their frames from scratch, the vast majority of them would be able to do this for you. They'd even be able to make the frame for you at the right size. So you just need somebody who either makes their own frames or their own canvases, and they should be able to do this step for you as well to stretch the your design over the top. Now to finish this piece off, I haven't done this because I wanted you to see the back, but you could also then stretch a piece of felt over the side, top back of this, exactly the same as we've done with this one. Um, and it just makes this back a little bit neater. Um, and then you're able to put uh, your uh, string across for hanging on frames or even little D-rings to then screw that onto the wall. Now the other option is actually to frame your piece. So this is a piece of work I did a number of years ago and it has been framed by a, a local framer who sadly is uh, no longer uh, have a shop in, in Runcorn. But they create this fantastic frame and mount and put this in for me. But you could go to your local Wilco's or uh, the range or something like that and pick up a, um, a frame and put your fabric into there. The only thing you want to make sure is that you have properly ironed your piece so that it does lie flat because you can't really stretch it within this sort of frame um, so it just bear that in mind when if you are going to go down the frame route so one final thing is uh, if I bring back this uh, design that I've actually stretched on the canvas as you can see this is the um, exact same pattern that I have used for both of these designs now all the stitches that we have used uh, to create this piece also are used to create this piece. The only difference is, is obviously there's a lot more of them on this one um, and we are using three colours and only one thread thickness. So the eyes are done exactly the same way but just with single threads, the same with um, all of the, the outlines and the feet, every way has been done exactly the same but just with single thread. Uh, the way that you create this effect of looking like um, the bird is actually uh, made of feathers and things is actually to make sure that your stitches follow the same way that the feathers would have been on the bird. So as they go around the head, you make sure that they go around the top of the head and around the back and then through the belly, it's down through the belly and onto the legs. So it's just to make sure those thread stitches are the same way. So as I said, if you've managed to create this one, you have all of the knowledge and tools on split stitch or even back stitch to create this piece as well. And it is just using the exact same pattern that I, I provided if you've followed my pattern throughout the, this, this course. Um, so it'd be great if you want, if you've got, liked what you've done with this one and like to see how far you could take it, you could actually go a bit further and create a coloured version of uh, so your design. Thank you so much for joining me through uh, this workshop. I really hope you've created something that you're really proud of and that's inspired you to maybe look at embroidery again, uh, maybe create some of your own illustrations or shop bought patterns. Um, it'd be really lovely to uh, see what you've actually created. If you have managed to create something through this project, please let me know, show it on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Um, I'd love to see them. I really would. Really nice to see what people have created through through the, using this this workshop. 
big thank you again to Holton Libraries. Uh, without this, it, it, this wouldn't have happened. Um, and hopefully uh, you can follow them on social media if you're not already watching them through this. Please follow myself on social media as well as Hazelhurst Studios. Um, and hopefully we will see you all again soon. Many thanks.